We are talking about Braxton Hicks versus true contractions and when you should go to the hospital and a test you can see to see whether you're having Braxton Hicks or whether you're having true contractions at starting labor. So I was 36 weeks and six days with my second baby. I've been having Braxton Hicks since the second trimester, but on this day, things were a little bit different. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the test that I use, but Braxton Hicks are practice contractions. Some women get them, some women don't get them, but basically your uterus is just practicing for the big day. The difference is it's not causing any dilation or effacement. So we're gonna pretend that the opening to the balloon here is your cervix and dilation is it's widening so your baby can come out. Effacement is it's thinning and shortening here. So with a true contraction, it is going to push baby down and out. So they're gonna be stronger. And you can see that the ball representing the baby here is shortening the cervix, pushing it down. And with each contraction, it thins and moves through the cervix there. Braxton Hicks or practice contractions can be uncomfortable, but they shouldn't be painful. And you should be able to feel them all over. It might feel like a hardening of the stomach all over and not just in a particular place. And it also may not feel like uh, a really bad period cramp. A true contraction may feel like it's coming from the back and may feel like a period cramp when it's starting. Timing is also very important. Braxton Hicks will not be regular. You can just get them sporadically throughout the day. If you're getting more than four an hour, that's when you would want to contact your healthcare provider. You also shouldn't be getting any bleeding or any extra discharge or fluid with a Braxton Hicks and with contractions, you may start getting that. What first tipped me off was the timing of it. So I timed my contractions and they were happening every five minutes. And so I decided to do the bath test, which was recommended from my midwife. So if you um, are having Braxton Hicks and you change positions or you relax, often they'll go away. Whereas in true labor, they're gonna keep getting closer together and keep getting stronger. So I ran a bath, hopped in the bath, and it was very quickly after that, I got out of the bath and boom, my labor hit. They were coming on really strong. We had to race together a few things and get in the car because my labor was definitely starting. So of course you want to ask your own healthcare provider what guidelines they're recommending, but often they'll recommend the 5-1-1 rule. So if your contractions are happening um, every five minutes and they're lasting a minute and they're happening for an hour, that's often time to call your health provider, go to the hospital, get your midwife to come in, and you know that true labor is starting. Of course, listen to your own intuition. If you have any of those symptoms happening, call your provider. I will also link to a PDF in the description box below so you don't have to scribble down everything that I chatted about today. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I will keep making birth education videos as well as weekly pregnancy and postpartum workouts. If you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm also going to link to another video I think you would find helpful as well and the whole pregnancy workout and yoga playlist. You can save the different videos and come back to them whenever you like.